Hi, I'm Sandata Yet Villarreal Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction Data File Structure and Algorithm Series. Today we are on our number two of the lecture and we're going to discuss about from problems to programs and how to solve that is through patterns and we have here the overview. The patterns from three groups one for each of the first stages of the programming process. Two for problem analysis. If you encountered problem, you're going to analyze that and uh, you need these two patterns, the classification patterns and the specification patterns. And one for the program synthesis and that's what you call solution patterns. Now in figure one, structured of from problems to programs, it identifies the flow or the framework of how to solve problems through programs. Now on the left side we have design, formal specification, requirements analysis. So under requirements analysis at the top view, on the second column we have classification patterns, specification patterns, solution patterns, and the last we have the elementary patterns. Now uh, under classification patterns, we have three, data description, problem description, and categorized problem. And under, ca under specification patterns, categorized problem goes directly to formal specification. And this formal spe specification goes to quantification specification. But they goes also to the case analysis. Another is that categorized problem goes to quantification specification and uh, the elementary patterns. Now after specification patterns, it goes down to solution patterns by quantification specification such as accumulation, search, extremal, and construction. All of the five solution patterns goes down to elementary patterns. So this uh, framework identifies on how we need to solve problems in any way, in any kind of problems. Okay, so it could be subdivided so that you can identify the best possible solution. Then you're going to implement for it. Now our topic for today from problems to program, which I did mention, is the classification patterns formal specification patterns and solution patterns. So let's move to these uh, topics we have. Classification patterns are a set of patterns for the requirements analysis the stage used to classify programming problems. These patterns provide the first aid to analyze a problem by fixing an organized description of data and problems. The patterns consist of three description or in three way. We have data description. This uh, identifies how to describe the data involved in the problem. The second one is the problem description. It identifies how to describe the problem for a full understanding of it. And the third one is the categorized problem on how to classify the problem in the taxonomy. When we said taxonomy, that is description. So in figure 2, under structure of data description, we have application program. If you are going to create a complete application program, you need to study this uh, five category. Data definition, data manipulation, system control, session control, transaction control. Uh, this means that if you don't uh, get to this point, uh, you cannot be a programmer or a database administrator or a network linker okay because you don't know all of this that's why as a second year student I mentioned about this so that if you got your subject uh, teaching this part it is not covered in uh, data file structure but these are all data file structures because data file structure is the creation of database so in figure 3, we have data description represents through data dictionary. To represent data description or specification, you need to gather data dictionary. Data dictionary is uh, what do you call a list or a syntax in programs. 
just uh, what we've been seeing a while ago there are lists of codes that you're going to study or analyze and how to use it that is data dictionary if the code is not included on the list then therefore it will not run the program next we have figure 4 is an example of problem description through computer program in C language so the topic right now is under problem description the first one is data description we identify that it is considered to be a data dictionary and the framework of it and the second one is the problem description this identifies what will be the problem and the problem here is look at this at the top C program to convert number from decimal to binary so this is a problem in computer science and IT you're going to convert decimal number to a binary you're going to input a decimal number as just as the output look likes enter decimal number 545 then the value is 10010001 and the implementation of it on the solution is right here so the code in uh, C language now this is a, what you call the example of a problem description there is a problem there is a solution okay the solution is composes of the description of the problem because coding is a problem not all IT coded uh, runs accurately so that's why it is called problem description remember description is a specification you specify integer you specify um, printf, scanf, those data dictionary or codes or syntax the while using the for using so that you can have your output and that is problem description but this problem description doesn't identify that the solution is considered to be 100% all why? because if you're going to type any kind of number here as a decimal you will notice that it convert also errors as the output that's why it is only on the problem disk now the third one is decategorize the problem under classification patterns problem management as for categorization levels that refine the problem description a statistical analysis of the problem enables you to spot trends identify areas that need further analysis the categories are number one category area sub area and problem type remember categorize the problem is linked to a formal specification and case analysis so for example there are 10 out of box categories for configuration this is for configuration when you said configuration you are going to manage okay if the category is a problem it means to say the four categories we have as area sub area problem types so uh, area is a failure and sub area is a jo job fail and there are seven different problem types that you can choose this refinement provides data for trend analysis so if there are plenty of errors you encountered it identifies in the categories problem is that you're going to go back again to that categories the four categories we have such as category area sub area and problem type and you're going to make such analysis again and don't forget that in analysis we need mathematical computation such as statistics so in figure 5 shows the categories of programming languages so under programming languages we have two low level and high level you have to choose what kind of programming language you're going to use and to make such trends in technology so i prefer to all my students you're going to use c++ and c sharp and java so this uh, three and also you can use also um, visual basic in windows next we have in low level language we have machine level language and assembly language and 
in a high level language we have problem oriented and procedure oriented so we are finished with the classification patterns and we have two more topics to go because this is uh, the three patterns in programs to problems or problems to programs congratulations you successfully finished our lecture number two that's all for today thank you for watching and good luck